In today's episode, we are going to talk about a product that we receive a lot of questions asking about their performance, function, and how it should be applied in an airtight house. And this is brush seal. When we're talking about door and window seals, typically we are looking at this type of rubber gasket or felt seal that is installed around the door stop or around the window frames. In our tight house shop, we have this V seal and we had made a few specialty video explaining why the V seal is superior. But today, we are going to talk about the bottom of the door or other special area. What kind of seal we should use? Bottom of the door, why is it different? Because on all the other areas around doors and window, we almost always have something to compress on. For majority of door seals around the side, the jam and the top of the door, they are relying on compression to create the seal. And for those type of seal, if we install and adjust the door properly, they can be almost 100% airtight. But at the bottom of the door, that is not the case. Especially now with the disability access requirement, we need to allow for wheelchair and we cannot have a step up threshold to allow for compression. So, what options do we have? Typically, we'll have this kind of rubber flap seal or other alternative products similar. One of them is our own B seal series. Compared to the other alternative, our advantage is we got multi-layer of flaps. So when we move around, even though one layer may stretch to put to one side, the second layer would remain in shape to hold the place. It's very similar to what you see in the shaver's advertisements. Where you got multiple blades, it can keep the cut nice and clean. The last option, which is kind of a different family of product, which is the brush seals. For brand new home, it doesn't really matter which type of seal you use because you got a well square door, nice and flat floor. But in a lot of upgrade or existing home, the door or the floor is not that square. And when you open the door, you may have a lot of dragging with the more conventional type of rubber or plastic flap seal. And that's where the brush seal comes in. And we are going to show a few demonstrations to compare how you install or select your brush seal product can make a significant difference on how well it performs the draft proofing function. In this setup, we have a 30 millimeter long brush seal set up in a way that is just touching the floor. And we are going to check how much leakage we are having. Let's run the fan. And we can see currently the leakage is around 3.7 liter per second at 50 Pascal. Next, we try to reduce the gap size to force the brush into a, a bit of squashing the, the brush seal and see whether it's, it's going to improve or reduce the performance. And now we adjust the door to reduce the gap size by three millimeter. In theory, we should expect a lower leakage rate, but in reality, the leak goes up by 0.2 liter per second. The reason for that is as soon as we try to squash the brush seal, we create all this kind of irregular pattern on how the brush seal is interfacing with 
the floor. Every time you close the door, it may give you a different leakage performance, and you don't want that kind of consistency. So that is lesson number one. When you install the brush seal, always adjust the brush when the door is closed to be right flush or just within one millimeter compression. That would give you the best performance out of your brush seal. And the movement allowance should only be used to tolerate any unevenness of, of your floor or the non-plumb or not square of this door setup. Outside of use the brush seal as the bottom of door seal, the other very common usage is use the heavy duty brush seal for garage door. Typically, when we're talking about roller door in the garage, there's not many options you can use. For panel door or multi-panel door, there are gasket compression seals available. But for roller door, because of the nature, how it moves, and the irregular shape it creates a profile, only brush seal can be used in those settings. And in here, we are going to test a few different lengths of the heavy-duty brush seal to compare their performance. This kind of brush seal product is mainly used on the side and the top of the roller door. For the bottom, a lot of roller door have an integrated rubber gasket seal that is suitable for that purpose because it's only a single directional force you use to push down the rubber. But on the side, if you use rubber fab, that the roller will keep rolling up and down, up and down, it will get demolished in no time. Okay, now we've swapped the sample to a 50 mil heavy duty brush seal. As soon as you look at the brush seal, you can see the construction itself is very different between the two. The typical home style door seal, you see each brush, the hair is a lot finer and they are closely packed together. But when you look at the heavy duty garage or workshop type seal, they are arranged in different piles and then they try to pack it as close as possible. You can virtually see through it and look at the light I set up inside. And performance wise, if we look at the measurement, the number is 36, roughly 36 liter per second, which is 10 times compared to the 30 mil um, door brush seal. Let's factor in the gap size is almost double, but we still five times the performance. The reason why it performed a lot weaker Number one is the different construction. Number two is because of the style of the brush. It's a lot firmer, so it doesn't flow or set as nicely. To improve that, I find that there are overseas product, which is a combination of brush seal and flap seal. For a 50 mil brush seal product, they have a 10 or 15 mil rubber flap integrated with it. But at the time we're making this video, I've ordered the product, but it doesn't arrive in time. It, it got trapped somewhere in the line of shipping or in the custom. So at the moment, I'm trying to simulate the performance by using some electrical tape to apply it to the top of this brush seal which should, in theory, work very similar to that rubber flap. This is a 10 millimeter electrical tape, and you can see we are gaining approximately 20% of the performance already. The other options that we may consider is to use a combination of the heavy duty brush seal with the more conventional door seal we gain the benefit and still allow for the irregular shape of things like garage door. 
Now we are looking at the longest 100 mil heavy duty brush seal. And when we look at the number, it's a shocking 85 liter per second at 50 PA, which is almost three times compared to the 50 mil. The longer the brush, the weaker the performance. And once again, it could be better if we can have an integrated product with a rubber flap that is going half the distance of the brush seal. The reason why we don't use entirety the rubber flap seal is the brush portion would handle the most variating size and shape of whatever we need to deal with. And also, if we, for that product, the rubber flap is embedded sandwich in between the brush. So this heavy duty brush here would also provide some kind of protection from overstretching those um, rubber flaps and protect the longevity of the product. To recap what we've been gone through this video, brush seal is suitable for rough surface or irregular surface, such as garage roller door, or if you need to swing around concrete or stone surface. Number two, when choose the brush seal suitable for your application, try to find the finest hair of the brush you can pick. You always need to balance between air tightness and longevity of the product. And then it's the pile design where you got nice and closely packed brush compared to small piles packed together. You always try to find something that is as closely packed together as possible. If the duty you require only allows you to use pile-based brush seal, find something that is multi-layer or with integrated rubber flap that would give you the best performance and longevity. And hopefully that can help you to reduce draftiness and also manage dust ingress.